Hello, my name is Sally Pinto, and I'm the program director for the Yonkers Nork Neighborhood Naturally Occurring Retirement Community. We serve seniors 60 plus in Northeast Yonkers. We are under the auspices of WJCS and the Yonkers Office for the Aging. We also have a resource specialist and a nurse on staff. We conduct virtual programming when partnership with the Yonkers Public Library on a daily basis. Enjoy the program. Thank you so much. Um, good morning to everybody. Find a place on your mat. Take a blanket and find a seat on the blanket. You need a um, strap or maybe a tower or whatever you have at home, um, like a bed that you can use to. We're going to stretch out the legs in a minute. But first, we're going to start with um, some pranayama. And uh, today, I felt like um, the sounding breath or the um, bumblebee breath. Uh, so you can, um, uh, if you have never done that, listen first and then uh, cover the ears. So with this, you just take a deep breath in. You, um, you can cover your ear with your index finger or some people like to use the thumbs and then place their fingertips uh, above the eyes, on the eyebrows, underneath your eyes, right beside the nostrils, and then a little bit lower, let it really naturally fall. Those are also really nice um, acupressure points. So just see where they fall naturally, and then you can, you can stay here. If you don't like that, that's no problem at all. You can just use your index fingers and uh, cover the ears a little bit. So it really drowns out all um, the stuff that's going on in your mind and uh, calms down that nervous system as well. All right, so find, maybe take those fleshy parts of the sit bones. If you're sitting on something a little bit higher, use that to slide forward, to tilt the pelvis a little and allow your spine to become straight and tall. Not really straight, but tall push through the top of the head. And then if you like, you can place your index fingers and cover your ears and you can also close your eyes. And we do about three rounds. And if you want to do less or more, then you're very welcome to do that. Mm. Whenever you're ready, bring your hands back onto your knees. And then slowly bring the chin towards the chest. And open your eyes. Lift your gaze. Welcome back. So um, sometimes you feel like uh, maybe this is a little short, and you can always come back to this afterwards or anytime during the day. And you feel like, you know, a little too much going on and you just want to have a little time out, that would be, or actually a time in. Um, so that would be the perfect thing, one of the things to do. All right. So, um, as I said, have your um, uh, strap close by. We're going to lie down in a second. But um, maybe you lean back if you're sitting with your legs crossed. Bring your hands behind you, lean back, and just switch on the legs 
And then bring your hands back on top of the knees. Find that length again. Feel the sit bones grounding down into the earth and the, the head, the, the top of your head pushing all the way out. And then bring the chin to the chest and let the rest of the body follow by rounding the back. So you're coming into a very gentle cat cow, seated cat cow flow. So when you open up the chest and you lift the gaze towards the sky, you create space for an inhale. And when you round your back and you scoop your abs, the shoulder blades moving away, it's easier to exhale. Open up the chest and inhale. Scoop your abs in and out, contract those abs and push all the air out. Use your knees as anchors and then open up the chest again. Maybe you remember the Ujjayi breath when you restrict the back of the throat. Um, maybe you find that right now when you exhale and you round your back, shoulder blades moving away from each other. And then just finish your round and come in the space in between cat and cow. And then you just circle spine. You can start with a small circle that slowly becomes bigger. Or you feel like going straight into a big circle and go ahead and do that. And then we switch the direction. At any time during the yoga, if you feel like you want a time out, time in, and you need to rest, uh, listen to that. Rest in the child pose, rest in easy pose, or just lie on your back, put the hands into your belly and breathe. All right. And then bring the hands back again and switch the legs. Bring the hands right in front. And just walk the hands forward, just a little. Pull the hands towards your body so you open up the chest to create length in the spine. Proud chest. And then you walk a little further. And breathe here. And maybe a little further and then you can round forward. You can again use a block to rest your head. You can put your hands on top of each other like that and then rest your forehead and if you don't want to go that low and if you're happy out staying here then stay here and just breathe and feel the hips opening the back opening up the back of the neck opening up use gravity to let the head stretch or the weight of the head pulling you down and you feel the stretch in the back of your neck Whenever you're ready, lift the head again and slowly walk your hands back. Bring the hands to the sides. Inhale all the way up. Reach up high. Exhale back down. Inhale all the way up. Maybe lift your gaze towards the sky hands. Touch and then lower your gaze as you lower your arms. Inhale up and exhale. Again, switch the legs. Last time, bring your hands right in front. Mm -hmm. And then again, walk forwards. And then, as if you want to pull the mat or the floor towards you, and when you do that movement, you are um, maybe feeling the back muscles recruiting and you shoulder and open up the chest. And then when you feel like you cannot go any further without folding in your hips, then go ahead and fold from the hips forward. Find something to um, support your head if you like. 
If you want to stretch in the back of the neck, then use that space to lower the head down. And slowly lift your head and walk your hands back. Walk your shoulders back. And we are lying on the back. <clears throat> Bring your bag with you. Okay. So first, keep the knees bent. <clears throat> Maybe shake the legs out a little bit. Lift your hips, lengthen the tailbone. Um, and then roll back down so that you flatten that lower back a little bit. Feel the natural curve coming back, relaxing a little. And then bring the knees into the chest. Rock gently from side to side so you can hug them in. Take your time. Stretch out the lower back. Circle your knees one way. Circle your knees the other way. Separate your knees, opening up the hip joints. If I'm too fast, please slow down. Change the direction. And then bring your feet back down onto the floor. Bring your right knee into the chest. Flex your right foot. If you feel like it, you can stretch out the left leg. And then take a deep breath in. And as you exhale out, lift your nose towards your right knee. Slowly lower back down. Bring your right foot back down. Bring your left knee into the chest. Flex your left foot. You can keep your right knee bent or you can stretch your right leg out. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you lift the nose towards that left knee. And slowly lower back down. Bring both knees back into the chest. Rock again from side to side. <clears throat> and then bring your feet back onto the floor and bring your right foot on top of the left knee. For the climb pigeon. Bring your hands around your left thigh. Flex that left foot. Flex your right foot. And then bring the knee into your right ankle. See if you can maybe soften your forehead, your face, your tongue in your mouth, your shoulders, and breathe. Feel that right hip maybe opening up, pushing the right knee a little out, and breathe. Slowly lower your left leg down, and bring your right foot back down. Take your strap and just put this one. I'm going to change my position a little so you can see it better. Um, put your right foot into your strap. And then it's completely up to you. So you can keep your left knee bent and you can also stretch it out. See what feels better. First, find a good grip on your um, strap. So don't have it too far away from the foot. And then stretching the arms out to the side, hopefully close to your um, foot, but so that the elbows are not overextended. Stretch, uh, flex your foot, push the heel towards the sky, and your knee towards straight. If it does not become straight right now, don't worry about it. Just push towards straight, and then. With your next exhale, bring that right leg in towards you just a little. 
And if there's no movement towards you, that's fine too. Just stay here, hold. Give the muscles in the back of the neck a chance to lengthen, opening up. Sometimes it's just a really small movement in the foot or maybe in the knee or maybe in the hips. Try to lengthen the space between the shoulders and the ears and breathe. And then slowly bring both hands, no, both straps into your right hand. Left hand you can leave on your left hip and then you open your right leg towards the right side. Keep your right foot flexed, keep the left foot flexed, push the heels away as if you want to make those legs longer. Breathe. With your exhale, soften. Slowly bring your leg back to the middle. Switch your hands, right thumb goes into the right hip crease and you hold your right hip down. Both uh, sides of your hip of your pelvis are staying on the floor. And that movement when you move the leg towards the left is smaller than you think. Flex both feet, push the heels away. Breathe. Maybe an ujjayi breath. Ocean breath, ocean sound breath. And slowly, slowly, slowly bring your leg back to the middle, bend the knee, take the strap out. I'm going to stay here. <laughs> So bend both knees, put the strap to the side, shake the leg out a little. And now put your left leg on top of your right knee. And then interlace your fingers behind your right thigh, flex both feet, and push your knee into the ankle, push the left knee out. Both hips, both shoulders are on the mat. Peer that left hip opening. Slowly lower your right leg back down. Take your strap or your bag or your towel and bring your left foot into that loop. Mm -hmm. Again, if you feel like keeping the right knee bent, absolutely keep it bent. Flex that right, left leg, left, I mean, the left ankle, push the left heel all the way up. See if you can relax your shoulders down, if you can relax your elbows. Push the knee towards straight and don't fret if it's not straight. It's absolutely fine. If you like, feel out if you want to stretch out your right leg. <clears throat> Imagine you're standing on that right foot. So you push through that right heel and you push through the top of your head. With the next exhale, bring the leg a little closer towards you or push the heel a little more towards the sky. Bring your straps into your left hand Right hand goes onto the right hip and then open your left leg towards the side. 
the left side. Keep those feet flexed. Full dry breath if you can remember. Slowly bring the leg over to the other side. So switch your hands, left thumb goes into the left hip, and then flex your left foot to the right foot, and breathe. Both hips are on the floor. If you feel like you're coming too close to the floor, your left hip is probably lifting up. So anchor your hips down into the floor, and just let the leg go down. Long neck, again, imagine you're standing, right foot is pushing away, all the way through, um, push through the top of your head, the other direction, into the other direction. And then slowly, 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 whenever you feel ready, bring your left leg back to the middle, Take the strap, bend your knee, and put the strap to the side. Bend both knees and just shake out and um, lag a little bit. All right, I'm going to stay this way. Uh, I'm really not. I'm going to you can uh, you stay on the back. So we come into happy baby pose. So first we do it with both legs, and then we're going to uh, switch to the right and then to the left. Really open up those hip joints. So bring your knees into the chest, and then what we're gonna do is, if you have never done that, have a look, you bring your hands together, you go in between your knees, and then you grab the outside of your feet. And for some of us, this might be already um, a, a pretty tough um, thing to do, to reach your feet right here. And if you feel like, no, Mandy, this is not, I'm not me this morning, then just um, stop at the knees and open the, uh, open the hip joints that way and take your time with it. So um, if you're here in happy baby pose, you lift your feet as if you have paint on your feet and you want to imprint um, your uh, feet onto the ceiling, right? And then you pull um, a little bit, anchor your fingertips into the outside of your feet. And then your elbows, you can press them very gently into the inside of your shin bones. And that already might feel, uh, you feel a big opening in your hip joints. Stay here and breathe. And then there's always the option in happy baby pose that you can gently rock from side to side like a very, very happy baby. But um, you don't have to do that if you don't feel like it. Um, just keep breathing, feel that lower back right now. How is your lower back in this position, right? Stretching out really long. <clears throat> One more deep inhale and exhale. And then bring your feet down and let the feet go and shake the legs out one more time. And then we bring your, the right knee all the way up. Same thing. So your elbow goes onto the inside of your right knee, but you hold onto the outside of your foot the pinky toe side, right? You hook your fingers in and then bring your feet um, up parallel to the um, ceiling as if you wanna make that imprint. And then you flex that um, right knee, keep um, pushing the elbow in. And then if you like, you can keep your uh, left knee bent, but you can also stretch that left leg out and flex that uh, left foot. And if that is not enough for you, you can also bring your left arm all the way up. Reach up high and then relax the shoulder, relax the elbow. Breathe. Bring the hand back onto the hip. 
bend your left knee and slowly bring your right leg down. And remember, again, if this is a little too much, keep circling those knees and take a, a break, maybe in between, put the knees together and feet out. If you want to go ahead, bring your left leg up, hold onto your left elbow, press it into the inside of your left knee. You hook your fingers onto the outside of that left foot. You press your elbow in and flex your foot. And see how you feel here. Both shoulders are on the floor, the hips are on the floor. And if you feel like it, you can stretch that right leg out. You can bring your right hand on top of the right hip. And if you feel like it, you can bring that right arm all the way up. Create some length here, pushing through the foot, the fingertips, the top of your head, your left foot. Breathe. And then slowly bring your right hand back down. Slide your right hip and your right foot back. And then let go of the left foot and just bring your um, knees back, uh, bend the knees. <laughs> Shake the legs out a little. And then come slowly onto your side and we come into table. <laughs> Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Have a look back so you can see your feet, make them disappear. And, um, oh yes, uh, so I want to fire up those abs just a little bit. We come into both pose after that. But tuck your toes under and just let your knees hover. So lift up and now pull those hands towards your knees like we did when we were in. Um, that forward forward at the beginning. So maybe you can feel your abs shaking, the core shaking, you know, waking up the core muscles and then let the knees go back down. Um, no, don't unpack the toes, we're coming there again, but um, maybe come into a bit of a cow pose, drop the belly down, lift the head and inhale. And then scoop those abs up. The head goes in between the arms. Then come back into the neutral spine. And again, you are lifting your knee just an inch off the floor. And then pull your hands towards the knees. And breathe. Feel your strong core. And then slowly lower the knees back down. Now untuck those toes, open up the knees and come into child pose. Rest your head and your elbows. Slowly lift your head, come back into your table. <clears throat> and then we lower down knees, chest, chin to come into cobra. So bend your elbows, lower down to knees, chest, chin, and then slide into your baby cobra. And then lower down your head on one side, rest the head on one side, wiggle your hips. And then lift up again with your next inhale into cobra. Maybe a little higher. Feel the back muscle lifting you up. And then turn your head the other way and lower back down. Wiggle your hips. Press into your hands, tuck your toes under and push into table and from table into child pose. And then slowly come back into table. <clears throat> and uh, if your knees might be a little bit um, tender or your kneecaps and you know 
uh, um, it might be an issue, get your blanket and put them underneath your knees. So for um, the next one, open up your fingers wide, grab the floor, lift your head, brow chest, scoop those abs in and up, and then stretch out your right leg, tuck the toes under, and then lift your right leg up and stretch your left arm out, lift your left arm, create one long line from your right here all the way through the body, out the left hand fingertips, and then lower that back down. Stretch out your left leg, tuck the toes under, push the heel away. Feel your strong core muscles supporting you. Lift up your left leg, push that left heel away from you, and then lift your right arm up. Create that long line from the left heel throughout the, the right fingertips. And also the top of your head. Long, long, strong body. What is the core doing? Are you in cow pose right now? Scoop those abs up, long, long back, and then lower hand and knee back down. So then we are coming into, we're going to um, prep a little bit. So uh, stretch out your right leg again <clears throat> and lift your right leg up. And then bring your left hand a little bit towards the midline and open up the hips towards um, the front, towards the screen. So you're rotating your hips a little bit, right? So your toes are looking forward now. They're not looking towards the floor anymore. And then we are coming back. The toes are looking back down. One more time, bring the left hand a little bit towards the midline and open up the hip so that the, um, I'm circling my right foot, so that your right foot is looking forward. And then lower back down, We're doing the same thing on the other side. So hands, um, the right hand goes a little towards the midline. I hope that makes sense. And then you stretch your left leg out and lift your left leg up. Scoop the abs in and up. And then we are opening. Um, you come with your left hand a little bit onto the fingertips. We are opening the lower part of the body, or actually the upper part as well, towards the left. So your toes, the hips are looking um, forward towards the wall. And then slowly toes, the foot is looking down again, you can bend the knee and we do it only one more time. <clears throat> Stretch out your left leg, flex the foot, push the heel away, right hand comes a little towards the midline and you open up the front body towards the left. So your um, right hip is, is really holding and working out here. And then slowly lower back down, and that uh, we're coming into downward facing dog. <clears throat> so tuck the toes under and you lean back as if you go into the child pose, but then you lift your hips up, lift the knees, you can pedal your legs, walk your dog. And then find some stillness and then cross downward dog, feel the back of the legs opening. The strength you have in your legs. And when you're ready, lift your right leg all the way up. Feel like a downward dog. <clears throat> Perfect. And then bring your right knee back towards your nose. Scoop the abs in and up. And then bend both knees and come on to uh, into table. <clears throat> and then tuck the toes back on the lean back as if you come into child pose and then you lift back up into downward dog. And then we go into three-legged dog. You lift your left leg all the way up. Mm -hmm. 
soften your elbows. Look towards your knee or your ankle to lengthen the back of your neck. And then bring your left knee towards the nose. Scoop the abs in and up. And then lower back down into table. And then lean back and give those poor wrists a shake. <clears throat> okay, so for the next one, um, I'm just changing so you can see it a little better. <clears throat> okay, we're coming into um, half moon pose underneath, maybe. So there's a lot of um, hip uh, movement going on. Okay, so come on to your knees, maybe grab the block as well. And we put the block onto the left side first. And then bring your hands onto the hips and stretch out your right leg. <clears throat> I know that might be a, it's a pretty good angle, right? So then we are lowering the left hand onto the block and the, the height of the block is your choice. And maybe if you feel like this is it, I want to stay here, then listen to that, stay here. If you feel like you can reach lower onto the floor, go ahead and do that. And then it's always, uh, you know, also depending on the hip. And then we can see, maybe we come first into that extended side angle, opening up the whole side, yes. And then maybe we can bring the hand onto the hip, yes. And maybe lift that right leg up, whoa. I know, stay here, flex, but then push the feet away, push through the top of the head, create a long line, and then maybe lower that leg back down. Take a break if you want to in between, and if there's any pain in your left hip, come out of the pose and rest in China pose, please. If you like, you can lift that right leg one more time, you can lift your right arm all the way up and you can bend that right leg and hold on to your right foot, I know, and push that right foot into your hand, opening the whole front of the body. And please, if you feel like you want to come out of that, go ahead, do it. And also use those props. That block might make all the difference in that pose for you today. Right, so see and try, figure it out. What works best for you today? <clears throat> All right, so stretch the neck back out. We come into one extended side angle. And then bring the hand back onto the hip and lift back up, bend the knee. The block goes onto the outer side, <clears throat> hands onto your hips. And then we stretch out the left leg. <clears throat> You can definitely stay here and just breathe. Maybe come up with the arms all the way up. And then maybe take a break, put the hands back onto the hips. So do what feels good. If you feel like it, you can come onto that block. <clears throat> you can keep the hand here, open up the front body. If you feel like it, you can put the block away. Yes, see what, see, and this side might be different, right? And then we can lift the leg and maybe lift the arm. Yeah, look at you, awesome. And then if you feel like it, you can bend your um, knee and then push your left foot into the left hand, opening the whole front of the body. Breathe, yes. Push through the top of the head. Take a break if you need a break. <clears throat> and then slowly stretch the leg out. You can lift back into extended side angle. And then bring the hand back onto the hip. And slowly come back up. And we come back into child pose just to have a rest. <clears throat> Open up knees, 
and walk your hands forward first. Find a long stretch through your arms, through your back. And if you like, you can bring your arms right beside the body as well and just drop the shoulders down. Slowly bring the hands underneath your shoulders, lift back up. Hands underneath your shoulders and you come into down your dog and then you walk forward. So lift back up. Breathe. And then walk your feet slowly forward. Come into a forward fold, bend your knees. And then inhale, halfway up, hands right underneath your knees. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift, halfway up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward. And then we roll all the way up. Take your time. Bend your knees, scoop the abs, and start rolling up nice and slow. The last one that comes up is the head. The main thing is keep the knees bent and your core engaged. And then roll the shoulders back. <clears throat> We come into chair pose. So come to the front of the mat, open up your feet, the foot apart, a little less. And then lift your arms all the way up, reach up high. And then sit down in your chair pose. Look down, make sure your knees don't collapse to the inside or to the outside. Reach up high. If this is a little too heavy, bring your hands onto your hips. Breathe. From here, bring your hands onto your hips, the weight into your right side, and slide your right leg back and you come into the high lunge. Lift the arms, straighten the back knee, the, the back heel is off the floor. Make sure that your knee is not over your ankle, over your toes. Reach up high from here. We come into warrior two. Open up the hip. Back here touches the floor. Again, make sure your knee is not going to the inside. We lift the arms straight in the front knee. Bend the knee. Open up the arms. From here, we bend the right elbow and lift into extended right angle. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> Keep breathing. If you feel like you're losing that flex, you go into the hat. Scissor the leg up at the same time. Bring your left hand back onto your hip and then lift back up straight in the front knee. And then heel toe. Um, turn your foot back in and then heel toe back together. Perfect. Come back to the front of the mat. Shake everything out. Come into mountain pose, palms facing forward. Close your eyes just for a moment and see if you feel the difference between the right and the left side. And then from mountain pose, we come back into chair pose. Lift your arms all the way up, drop your shoulders, and sit down in your um, chair pose. Again, if the arms are too much, come onto your hips. You can scoop the abs in and up, length and tailbone. Breathe. Then bring your hands onto your hips and 
the way into your left leg. Slide your right leg all the way back and come into a high lunge. So let's see if we can maybe bend that knee, lengthen the table, scoop the abs up, and then keep on that, and then straighten that knee again. And then we lift the arms, reach up high, drop the shoulders down. Ujjayi breath. And then we come into warrior two. So your back here touches the floor. You open up the hips towards the side. Knees bend. Have a look down at the knee that collapses to the inside. Push it out. Open up the chest, using the arms, and then straighten your knee. Lift your arms. Breathe. Bend your knee. Open up the arms. Reach to the back, reach to the front, press down, raise the feet, but lift up through the top of the head. Bend your left elbow, open up or lift your arm over your head to extend the side of the opening of that side. Reaching up high, reaching up through the fingertips. If you lose that knee bend, come back to it. And then bring your hand back onto the hip, straighten the knee, and then parallel, and then clear shoulder feet back together. <clears throat> Shake everything out. All right, hands onto your hips, we come into tree pose. So again, every tree is different, and every leg is different. So see what feels good today. You can bring your right heel on top of your left foot. Feel the hip opening here. Um, scoop the abs in and up. This is your tree trunk, giving you stability, strength. You can see where you want to put, where you want to place your um, foot. And you might be surprised with all the hip openers. You might feel really comfortable all the way up here. If not, Go all the way back down or somewhere in between. Hands go in front of the chest if you feel like that. And then if you also feel like that, you can bring the hands above your head. Tree branches growing all the way into the sky. Feel the little muscles in your foot. Firing up, giving you that stability. Look at something that is not moving. Can be in the far distance, your drishti, anchoring you down. Push through the top of the head. What a tall, strong tree you are. And then slowly, if you like, bring your hands in front of the chest. <clears throat> bring the hands onto your hips. And then that's the power part, right? Don't lose the control. So we lift the knee, lift the knee, flex the foot, and then push the foot back down and give that out of the little shape. <clears throat> Perfect. All right, other side. Hands onto your hips. Oh yes, I forgot. So soften the knee, you know, when you stand on that leg, it's so easy to just block that, and I totally did that. Try to soften the knee so that it's not over um, extended. All right, so find your tree on the sides. <clears throat> See what happened on this side? And then find your drishti. No, what happened? All right, bring the hands in front of your chest. If you feel like it, you don't have to. You can stay here. That is a beautiful tree. Think of that right knee and your drishti. And if you like, roll the tree branches all the way up into the sky. You can bring um, the index finger onto your thumb, reach up high, you can drop the shoulders, but feel energy going through your arms, out your fingertips. And 
and when you're ready and if you like you have spent the same time on this side then you can slowly bring your hands back in front of the chest <clears throat> yes now lift that knee flex that foot and then we step the foot back down shake everything out very good all right then come back to the top of your mat actually a little further back i'm just saying that because i might land in the window so we are coming into wall three and you can totally need to put the back foot on the floor i'll show you what that looks like so um and also you can have your blocks right in front of you to um maybe start with the hands on the blocks and you can keep the hands on the blocks so um you stand in front of your blocks hands onto the hips let's forward forwards bend your knees just a little and then put your hands onto the blocks i'm putting my fingertips in so i can open up my chest here and then i bring my right foot a little bit towards the midline bend that neck um the right knee and then i bring my right um my left foot back and uh, if you like you can stay here and just maybe lift the hands onto the hips or if you want to bring the arms all out in front you can do that if you feel safe that way you can also keep your hands on the blocks and uh, lift your uh, left leg up and flex your left foot push through the top of the head and out the um, left ear you can also if you are feeling up for it lift your arms right out to the front and create a long line and breathe Strong right leg, feeling little muscles in the right foot. And then you can lower your foot down, you can lower your hands down, and then bring the weight into both feet, hands onto the hips, and shake everything out. Again, come into mountain pose, <clears throat> palms facing forward, soften your knees, close your eyes for just a moment and feel the difference between right and left. And then we are switching to the other side. I'm back in front of your blocks. And by now you see what you feel like. Maybe you want to just lift the back leg. So we can forward forward and bring the hands onto the blocks and then bring your left foot little towards the midline bend your left knee and bring your right foot back and so it, again it depends you can come into the fingertips and lift your right leg you can also keep the right leg here and lift your arms and your arms can go onto the hips as well so see this feels good for you right leg lift it left knee bend hips and shoulders kind of square and then we can lift the arms and if you're wobbly don't worry about it your muscles becoming stronger from the wobbling <clears throat> you can also hold on to something to a chair in front of you or to maybe your dresser Keep flexing the foot and creating this long, long line. Scoop the abs in and up if you find them right now. Whoa. <laughs> and then if you lose the balance, like I just did, come back. <clears throat> and then maybe just lift one leg. You can also just lift one arm. Lots of different options. And then slowly. Lower your right leg down. Both hands go onto the blocks. Soften the knees and we are folding forward. Shake the head yes. Shake the head no. And then bring the hands on top, uh, um, 
onto the floor and walk your feet back into downward dog. Lift the hips up high. Breathe. Come onto the tippy toes, lower back down onto the knees. Open up the knees, bring the toes together and come into child pose. Slowly come back up. We come into a twist so you can bring your blanket with you. Oops, I'm just going to turn around. All right, so we come into step. Goes first to so stretch the leg out, take the fleshy part of the hip bones, catch our breath exactly. <clears throat> So flex your feet, bring the toes towards the body. Hands go right beside you. Find that staff pose, push through the top of the head and create that length. And then bring your right knee in <clears throat> and bring the right foot over to the left, over the left knee. Left arm wraps around the right knee. Right hand goes behind you. <clears throat> Go to our first, inhale, and with your exhale and that softening that comes with it, we can go into a gentle twist. So wherever our gaze goes, this is the rest of the body tries to follow your eyes. So um, be careful where you look. <clears throat> Especially with that cervical spine, there's a lot of movement, a lot of, there's a big range of motion here. And if you like, you can bend that left knee. And then bring the head back to the midline, just right up above your chest bone. Home and lower the, the chin to the chest and gently lift. Lower and lift. Come back to the midline and return the head. Bend it to one side and then over to the other. All the while we're hugging that right knee in and creating length throughout the spine. And then slowly untwist and stretch the legs back out into your sweat balls. Align again the sit bones, flex your feet, hands go right beside the body, push through the top of the head. Bend your left knee and bring your left over your right. <clears throat> Wrap your right, right arm around it and then Go taller first, with the inhale, and with your exhale, you are gently twisting towards the left. You can bend your right knee. Hug your Left knee in. Bring your head over above your breast bone and then lower the chin. And lift your face towards the sky. Feel that movement in the cervical spine, in your neck. Turn your head to one side. Take your time. Again, if I'm too fast and you feel like you want to move a little slower, then do that. Okay. 
and then slowly open the eyes if they were closed and twist, stretch out your legs. <clears throat> And then just for the last one, bring the soles, bring your feet together. <clears throat> your feet can be a little further away, you don't have to be very close, but if you feel that's a good thing to do right now, please go ahead and do that. Hold on to your feet, hold on to your ankles. <clears throat> be forward from the hips forward. Maybe your elbows are feeling a little inner thighs. Pressing down just gently, don't overdo it. And then when you feel like you want to forward, forward all the way, you go ahead and forward. Use the gravity, the weight of your upper body, of your head, of your elbows. Relax the shoulders. Bring the chin towards the chest to get more um, uh, length in the back of your neck. Scoop your abs in and up. Feel the shoulder blades moving away from each other. Inhale, feel the lift. Exhale, feel the softening towards the earth. Slowly, slowly, slowly roll back up. And get ready for Shavasana. Um, bring your legs up the wall if you feel like that's what you want to do. Put them onto a chair, onto the bed. Put something, roll um, the mat up, or if you have a bolster, now is the time to get that or just some pillows to put underneath your knees that softens or takes the tension out of the lower back. Find a blanket, put some socks on. Um, and if you have an eye pillow, that's the perfect time to use that. All right, so while you are getting ready, let's find this out. <clears throat> All right. Maybe you walk the head from side to side and just move the body just a little bit. Because, you know, um, can't think of it right now. <laughs> <clears throat> And then take a deep breath through the nose and out with a sigh through the mouth. <sighs> Everything is done. Nothing more to do. And slowly bring your attention to your breath. And if your thoughts wander off when we are silent, then you can anchor your thoughts to the breath by counting. Inhale, one. Exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, four, all the way to 10. And then you can start again. Feel your breath getting a little shallow. And then slowly bring your attention to your body. Feel the points of your body connecting with the earth. And 
And then move that attention all the way down to your toes. And relax the pose. And your ankles. Calf muscles. And the back of both knees. top of your knees, hamstrings, thighs, glutes, and your hips. And with your next exhale, allow your legs to become heavy. Heavy and warm. Relax your lower back, the middle back, the upper back. Soften the belly and your chest. Relax your shoulders, your elbows, forearms, wrists, and all ten fingers. And with your next exhale, allow your arms to become heavy. Heavy and warm. Relax the back of the neck. The back of your head. Top of the head, temples, forehead, ears, the jaw. Relax the tongue in your mouth. Soften the lips. Your eyes and the space between your eyebrows.
Now slowly bring your attention back to your body. Deepen your breath. And breathing your toes and your fingers. Stretch your arms and stretch your legs. Bend one knee and then the other. And then roll onto your right side. And whenever you are ready, sit up, push yourself up, bring the hands in front of your chest, lower the chin towards the chest. And thank you, sir, for coming here this morning. I thank you for coming. Namaste. Hi everyone, this is Z from Yonkers Public Library. Thanks so much to Sally Pinto and Alexis and Barbara from Nork. Thank you to our community partners, WJCS, the City of Yonkers Office for the Aging, Westchester County Legislator Ruth Walter, Friends of Crestwood Library, and Yonkers Public Library for making this phenomenal partnership. And we thank each and every one of you for being part of our wellness community. Be well, stay well.